So we should we use uh, genetic engineering to make sure we all had the same IQ and we all had the same intelligence because you want to create a start, an equal starting point? Is that, is that what's implied? Look, there is no such thing as an equal starting point. You, you can pretend, you can imagine, but there is no such thing. Reality does not abide by equality. There is no such thing as equality in real life. The only sense in which equality has meaning, that the term equality means something, is equality before the law, equality of rights, equality of freedoms. The, the, the fact that neither, that nobody should be coerced, that nobody should, uh, should be defrauded, that nobody should be attacked and, and assaulted. That's the only sense in which we have, that there's a meaning to equality. We're all different. And we're always gonna have different circumstances and we're always gonna make different choices and we're always gonna have different genes, always. And I don't wanna make everybody the same. I mean, what a boring, horrible world it would be if we genetically engineered everybody to be the same, to have the same starting point. No, you gotta make the most of where you are. And, and it's sad that some people don't have, you know, even the basic, what, what are you gonna do with the fact that some parents are, are, are just more loving and just better than other parents? You're gonna take the kids away and raise them like in a kibbutz uh, collectively, and therefore they don't get, they don't get challenged by the particular parents that they have. That was a disaster in the kibbutz. I wouldn't recommend it. No, you have to accept the fact that people don't have equal starting points. And then what you need to do is not equate opportunities. You got to, you got to maximize the opportunities they have, give them the most options, the most choices so that they can find their own path in life. And that's what capitalism does. Capitalism maximizes the opportunity. All right, the girl in the back and then the guy in front of her. Yes, you. If you have what? what? Right, so what you're saying is that the fact that somebody is sick, the fact that somebody cannot access, let's say, healthcare or cannot access uh, the choices, gives them, let's go back to morality, gives them a moral right to take my stuff, to make my life worse. And I say no. I have my rights, they have their rights. They can ask for my help. They can ask me to help. And, but, you know, I might be generous, I might not, depending on who it is. But their suffering, anybody's suffering, is not a moral claim on those who are not suffering. It's, again, they can ask for assistance, they can do it. I mean, I'll get to the, the reality of this in a minute. But um, there's a lot they can do, but they don't have a right to pull out a gun and take my stuff. Now, the fact that they ask the government to take my stuff and give it to them for them doesn't make it any more just. They're coercing me. They're using force on me. I think force is evil. I think force, when, if I hold you up in the street, that's wrong. If I mug you in the street, that's wrong. I think when the government mugs me in the street, which is what they do all the time, that's wrong as well. Force, coercion, taking people's money against their will is wrong, period, without exceptions, even if it's for a good cause. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support. Or go to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.